Okay, today we're gonna try This is from the local uh, Don's Motor Mart. It's in Lake Mills. It's in northern part of Iowa and Today I've gotten two chicken tenders They're Pretty good I also got a a thigh and the leg and uh, it's always been one of my favorites then we start off with one of the tenders Very juicy, very flavorful. I absolutely love the breading on this chicken. For a, for a gas station that has a lunch counter, this is actually not really bad at all. It's probably, well, like I said, it's one of the best in the area. Uh, it'll definitely give uh, KFC a run for their money. Of course, we got the favorite beverage on tap. My wife is sitting here next to me enjoying a cheeseburger from here. Mm -hmm. One of her favorites. Mm-hmm. The thing I like about this is it's not really greasy. You can see there's it's pretty minimal. I'm gonna go ahead and tear into this thigh next. Pretty good stuff. This particular brand of chicken can be found throughout the Iowa area. It goes under various different names. Sometimes it's Chester's Fried Chicken. Uh, in this case, it's Charlie Biggs. Dot com. They've been serving this here now for a number of years at this at this mart, and there's definitely no shortage of meat in this chicken, nor breading. It's a pretty even balance. It's kind of too bad that they don't have an actual physical restaurant franchise for this. But like I said, fried chicken is one of my absolute favorite things in the world. As far as eating food. Yep. Yep. <laughs> that doesn't take no time flat to demolish one of these. In fact, I've actually got a few empty boxes back here from prior visits. But I had uh, just tenders at that point in time, so I have no decaying food sitting around in here. As it would probably stink up the car pretty bad. And it has in the past. <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, 
it's very juicy cooked completely there's no uh, overcooked or raw meat here we've got their uh, their methods right down to a point here on this I don't know if you can tell from the background, but there's a lot of traffic in and out of this place. There's a few factories in this town here that a lot of them will come up here and eat. You know, they serve various other stuff here as well. Like pizza and burgers and sandwiches and subs and... And the price on this isn't that bad. You know, a thigh goes for about a dollar seventy-nine. Tenders are about a buck nineteen, and the legs—they are about probably about a dollar twenty-nine thereabouts. I mean, it's nice, good-sized leg. The breading's nice and even. The seasoning's just right. It's not spicy. It's not hot. It's it's not bland. And there's a lot of meat on them. There's a lot of flavor. Overall, on a scale of 1 to 10, this hits it right at a 10. I've never been disappointed when I've come here to eat. Are you demolished that cheeseburger already? Yep. Yeah, she and my <coughs> wife like that. Bless you, honey. <laughs> Pepper on that cheeseburger. A little bit, huh? <laughs> like I said, I'm a fast eater. And that leg's you. already gone. Man, my wife beat me this time. Normally it's the other way around. And then we're down to our last tender. Mm. It's starting to snow here. I've just noticed that as I was looking out the windows. Well, if you're able to find this, or if you happen to see it at some station somewhere along the way in your journeys out and about, definitely give it a try. Uh, Highly recommended. It's very good stuff. And uh, that's right at the top of my list of favorites. And I've been wanting to do a review on this for quite some time. So there you have it. There's my take on the the Charlie Biggs fried chicken. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and uh, thank you for viewing this.